so today is New Year's Eve. No, it's not really. I'm secretly filming this in... But is this today the 22nd of December? But yeah, this is the first Christmassy video with my Christmas tree being up because I've pre-filmed all my Christmas videos. They were all filmed in like November. But um, yeah, my tree actually went up on the 1st of November because I love Christmas. But you just didn't see it in the videos. But um, yeah, I'm just going to get started on this video. I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve tag, which is just five questions about things to do new year so let's go what are your new year's resolutions so a lot of you might actually find this really sad but i don't set new year's resolutions because like i think if you set resolutions or goals anytime at all not even just at new year like you feel bad if you don't meet them or achieve them and I don't want to feel bad about the fact that I haven't achieved my goals so I just don't create any and then I'm never disappointed when I don't reach them I know that's really bad you ever seen dodgeball this was um the main character Peter LaFleur's um mindset and yeah it's kind of ingrained on me I was like do you know what that's a great idea I'm going to live by that and it's not very motivational but you know it's just how I live okay it's how I roll I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Okay, next question. Um, what is your favourite song of the year? So I don't actually know if this song came out this year. I actually doubt it very much. Um, it's called, what is it called? I'm trying to find the name of the artist and what it's called and find out if it is actually this year. I'm just going to enter my music library because it's one of the first. The song is called Silhouette. I can't remember who it's by. Uh, it's by Aquilo and yes it is it was out this year um silhouette single is that it wasn't in an album it's just will you focus will, will you do it i don't know if it's going to focus but anyway um it's called silhouette it's by a band called aquilo and it's alternative in the genre and it was from 2017 this year i'll play a little bit of it but i can't play too much in case i get copyrighted I'm going to skip it to the chorus if I can. Okay, um, that's a little preview, but I don't want to play anymore in case I get copyrighted on this. That would not be fun. Um, next is, what is your favourite TV show of the year? So, um... And my TV shows haven't actually changed. The Vampire Diaries remains one, even though it finished, like, I can't even remember how long ago it finished. Was it last year? Um, I've just constantly been watching it on repeat. Um, also, American Horror Story, love that. Game of Thrones, again, love that. But waiting for it to come back is just killing me. Um, what else? Ugly Betty. Do you remember a show called Ugly Betty? The girl with the glasses and the braces. I have glasses and braces right now. I kind of feel like her, but you know, it's a great show. Um, I think it was 2006. It aired on E4 in the UK. Um, but I've recently bought the box set and I'm just reliving it and I absolutely love it so much. Henry is so cute. If you've ever seen Ugly Betty, you'll know who I'm talking about. He's just adorable and I love him. And yeah, okay, I'm weird. Um, what is your favourite book of the year? So the best book I've read this year is by far Carrie by Stephen King. Um, I love the movie. I prefer the remake, the 2013, was it 2013? I think it was 2013, the remake of the movie. I didn't really like the old movie, I've got to say. Um, I just thought it was quite weird and there was stuff that the students show. But anyway, <laughs> um, that was a good movie and the book is just fantastic. It is amazing. Stephen King's a great writer. If you've never read anything by Stephen King, what are you doing with your life? Um, and last question, what, oh what, I can't read my own writing. What did last year teach you? So last year taught me most of all that you can um, try and please everyone because it's not possible. Um, and also, yeah you can't please everyone um it's just not possible 
so there's no point in trying to please everyone um just get on with your own life and do what you want to do don't do what others want you to do do what you want to do it's your life um, and yeah, that that got really deep, that one. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next year for another video. Oh my God, next year. Bloody hell. Wow. Okay, that feels so weird to say, but it's really only like seven days time. Okay.